Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Welcome if you are new. My name is Heather. I am a quantum healing hypnosis practitioner. And I wanted to go ahead and let you guys know of the next group quantum healing hypnosis session that is coming up on Sunday, October 8th at 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. Now, I do these um, typically about three a year where I do a, a group hypnosis session and I take everyone on a journey into lives, into future lives, galactic lives, inner earth lives, whatever comes through. Um, these are some of my favorite sessions because there are so many different experiences that everyone has. And I absolutely love at the end when everyone shares their journey, what came through, any healing that they received. It's such a fun afternoon. This next group hypnosis session, we are going galactic. We are going to do some starship healing. Now, I have started sharing a little bit more about this journey that I've been on working with a galactic starship that I am connected with and learning all of these amazing healing technologies that we have access to. Maybe not directly and physically like we would like to think, but we have access to them energetically. And so far, the experiences that I've had with different clients have been incredible. So I recently did a group session in my Quantum Soul Members Portal. That's my monthly membership where I do different guided hypnosis sessions and guided meditations. And um, we do all sorts of things in there. Um, but I did a Starship Healing meditation for my group. And it was, it was incredible, just mind blowing for me because, you know, as I write these meditations, I never know what people are going to experience. And, um, it was pretty cool. As a matter of fact, I'm going to share a highlights reel with you. It's about 10 minutes. I'm going to tack it on to the end of this video. If you want to stick around and listen. Um, and these are just some highlights of some of the members experiences what they saw, what they felt, um, what happened as we journeyed onto the starship. Um, I'll probably also be posting it separately just for those who don't watch this video but still want to see that. So be on the lookout for that. But um, I want to share a little bit about what this next group hypnosis session is going to be about. So we are going to take a journey on to the starship and I'm going to guide you through three different experiences that are going to be perfect for you and your healing needs. I'm going to very generally guide you onto the ship and just allow your experience to unfold in whatever way it comes forward. So everybody's going to have a different experience and it's going to be depending on what you need. What the guides have taught me about the starship is that it is not just a physical place. You know, we always like to think of things as physical. We like to know what it looks like, what's there, what we're going to experience. But what they've shared with me is that these starships are consciousness and they are ever changing and evolving. And especially when we are tuning in or tapping in to them energetically, you are going to experience exactly what you need based on what you need for healing what's going on within your physical body your mental body the clearing work that you need um, it's going to manifest exactly perfectly for you so i'm going to walk you through three different experiences and let you connect your star family will be there they always show up to assist you in any way that you need assistance to guide you through your journey they bring through beautiful activations um, we've been getting a lot of dna activations coming forward in these sessions um, the dna is just a part of almost like our library like we have a library inside of us of all of our experiences everything that we have done in our life is sort of carried along in your dna 
But also, when your DNA is activated, it helps to connect you even more deeply to your heart. We all know that as we move forward in this shift, we are opening and expanding the heart space. So those DNA activations really help you to open that heart. We are also doing galactic um, DNA activations, which have been really cool. And basically what that is, is just helping you to reconnect back to your galactic origins, helping you to connect to your higher guidance so that you can receive messages more clearly. You can um, just receive what you need from your higher, higher guidance. So all of that is going to be a part of the session. We're going to do lots of healing, lots of connecting with the guides. And of course, at the end, I always give everyone time to ask questions. So just like you would in a quantum healing hypnosis session, you're going to get to ask your guides any questions that you want to know more about. And these can be any questions, health related, general, personal, whatever questions that you want. Now, I always recommend uh, that clients bring a, um, a notebook and a pen. So if you want to write down anything that came through in your session so that you can remember it, right after the session is a great time to do that. Um, once everybody comes back, we will spend the rest of the session just chatting and sharing experiences. And this is where it's so much fun because everyone will see or experience something different. But what always seems to happen is there's a connection. So one person will say, I saw this or I experienced this. And another person will come in and say, I experienced the same thing or have something that connects the two together. So that's always really fun to hear about all of those um, experiences and connections. So the other great thing about this particular meditation is I have um, a beautiful, beautiful partner that is assisting me in the Starship Healing work. Her name is Sarah. And Sarah is also connected to the same ship that I am working with. Um, she is connected to her Arcturian aspect, who is a master healer on this ship. And she has the ability to connect in with the ship as everyone is experiencing their journey. And she does a little behind the scenes work. So she's assisting with the clearing. She's assisting with the healing. Sometimes certain people will stand out to her because they need a little bit of extra something. And she is there to provide that extra healing and support. And so as everybody in the group is sharing what they're experiencing, Sarah will come in and validate those experiences and bring forward extra information that kind of makes you go, oh, that's what was happening. So it's amazing to have her there supporting the group. She brings so much forward and really helps you to know that your experience was real. So this is going to be a really great afternoon. I hope you will join us um, again Sunday, October 8th, 11 a.m. Central Standard Time. That is over Zoom. I highly recommend if you come that you have some sort of headset or earbuds because that's going to make your experience that much better. Um, let's see here. I'm going to leave all of the information to sign up below. So if you're interested, go ahead and grab your spot. If you have any questions, you can email me at heather at quantumhealingwithin.com. I'm happy to answer those questions for you. And I do have some videos. I've been posting some videos about the Starship Healing. I'm currently offering a couple of um, standalone sessions outside of the group sessions. Um, I have a surrogate session and a tandem session. And both of those sessions, I do those with Sarah as well. Um, she is incredible with the way that she can bring forward the information and just assist with the healing. We do have one session currently posted. Um, 
can't think off the top of my head what it's called, but I'm going to link that session below. So if you want to listen, it's a tandem session, and that is where Sarah and I work with our client. We, I take them, Sarah and my client, into a beautiful, deeply relaxed state of hypnosis, and then we do all of the healing work. So if you're curious about what that sounds like, you can listen to that session. And then I'll also post the video below of me explaining all of the sessions. So if you're curious, you want to learn, you want to learn more, you can check out those videos. Um, and let's see, is there anything else I wanted to share with you? I think that's it for today. Um, if you are interested in the um, learning more about the sessions as I have more information, because I'm going to be posting additional sessions for you to listen to. Um, or you're interested in other sessions like quantum healing hypnosis sessions or the messages from your guide session, be sure that you're on my email list because that is what I send out with all of those different session types when they're available and share what you need to know about each one and anything else that I'm sharing on my YouTube channel. All of that's going to be included in that email. So make sure to get on my email list. I've got that link below in the description. I hope you guys are doing well. I hope to see some of you in the next group hypnosis session. Again, that's going to be a starship healing session. And I will talk to you in the next video. Today was like we broke the ice. This was not a step forward. This was a leap forward into the future it's happening now wonderful i felt energies i felt i had vivid uh, visualizations uh, the room and the table the the crystals the kind of like i'd been there before so like in the beginning in the prep room there was um a very strong lyran energy arcturian pleiadian and honestly edie i think you could have been a part of that because uh, i felt you as well um, kind of in like this prep where we were kind of holding space for the group. So we started off and you said you thought we were holding space. Well, we were. We were attaching our hands together and bringing everyone in. Because I saw so many people, if not the whole groups like Galactic and DNA just come online. And as I constructed the Merkaba, uh, I started to get the sensation that I wanted to release my legs. And then I was just a consciousness merged with the light orb. The Merkaba, I thought that was really cool. And I'm, cause I knew all, heard about the Merkaba and people using the Merkaba to travel. But I'm like, how does that work? I hadn't the foggiest. And so when you put that together to build it, I was like, this is so cool. And I just really liked learning how to do that with my light body and activating the Merkaba. We started to move to the ship and I could see the ship as though the ship itself was a light body, but kind of in the shape of a ship. As I entered into the ship, I saw immediately what looked like Horus, the Egyptian god. Um, Horus said, I am Ra, and I allowed them to merge, and I saw a spiraling energy and kind of pulled me into the next room as Heather was speaking our going there to the crystalline bed. I know I have very, very strong Egyptian connection and they were on the ship. And I just got a confirmation for that. So when Shannon said that, I was like laughing. I was like, oh my God, I love that so much. The bed looked like my background. And it was just like all these colors and they were just swirling. I'm getting chills. It just lights and then it turned into this liquid fluid plasma is exactly yeah. and it was very luminescent yes yep. and it was purple and blue but i'm sure everybody would get what they need and i found myself in a instead of a, like crystals under the bed the whole room was like crystal like you ever see those rocks that's like all crystal on the inside like a geo yeah. and it was yeah. like a dark purple crystal and so i was like wow this is pretty cool <laughs> and it was like a dark purple crystal it's very pretty Oh, I love that. And you could see like little sparkly reflections everywhere. Came into a tank and it filled up with liquid, purple, blue, luminescent liquid. And it was just doing what it did in my body. And then when you asked for what I need, it was bright 
golden light. It needed to do whatever it did. Everything was just illuminated. It's like that bioluminescent, like the flowers, everything was so vibrant. And I remember going into the water, it's like everything was just glowing. I put my head underneath and it was just all this beautiful, warm, golden energy. And then the dolphins and the whales came to play and bring the healing energy. So I was like, oh my God, I feel like family. But then I went into the kind of gardening area and I felt myself um, still in spirit form. And I just kind of flew into that room. I flew through the dirt and then I moved through the dirt to the bottom edge of the water and came up into the water pond through the dirt. And I thought that was really cool. I actually entered the Syrian water through the bottom and just kind of like slowly surfaced upwards. <laughs> when you went to the water, I was already in and swimming and I went under and when I went under, everything illuminated and it just lit up and there were creatures swimming along with me and I had webbed fingers and hands, I mean hands and feet. And once I popped back up to the top, I was just floating and it was just lit up like crystals. The third room I saw like clear blue water and white sand, like just beautiful, clear, crystal clear, like you could see everything and it was just beautiful. Very soothing and relaxing, healing. And then I saw, the, I just left the body there to get, re, you know, redid. And I went to the other room and I was on luscious green jungle and grass. And then I was like, oh, there. And I run into the water and I jump into the water and I'm just swimming and just ah, receiving life force energy. Yeah. And then I came out with the blue suit, if you will. With I love long black, that. Long blonde hair, white hair. Yeah, it was cool. Thank you. Do you feel, feel do you feel like you were connected with a specific type of being? You were probably seeing yourself in your higher form. So Jackie, I'm so glad that you said that and felt that because I saw you pop up and I was like, oh, and it was a Pleiadian being and I felt Jackie. And mm -hmm. I was like, interesting. I'm like, you're supposed to be healing. And you're like, no, I'm, I am, but I came out here too. And I'm like, okay, <laughs> cool. I feel like these types of sessions, like I feel like I hit the holy grail with this, like the work that quantum healing has to offer and the amount of information that comes through these, uh, these sessions. I've never felt so much beautiful, overwhelming love. It was just the whole room filled with it. So it was just like my room, the first room looked very Moroccan. Now, I don't know what that's about, but there was like Love lanterns it. and royal blue. And it almost looked like a tent with the canopies. And I was like, oh, what's happening here? Is there like a party? I don't know what's happening over here, but okay. Whoever was working on me, I almost kind of saw this like flat disc that was being used and the, the pattern almost like I could see was like kind of like that flower of life kind of emblem. So it was like some tool that was being used to like clear, it was like floating over me and even like under me to like pick up energies and to transmute or, so I was like, ooh, these are kind of, what is this high tech tool? I'm liking this stuff. A male, a very brown golden lion being uh, and he had golden yellowish eyes and I asked him what his name was, and it came through as a Rylan, except our pronunciation of it, I was told is different. It was like a Rylan, almost like sound. It was sound, it's a sound vibration, but that's as close to it as I can get in human words. I definitely sensed Lyran in the ship. I didn't see a physical form, but I felt the energy. The last being I connected with was another lion being. It was a white one. And um, that is um, going to be my guide for physical healing. And when I came in, the three beings that I had seen and met in my last session were there. And they were like, hey, I, I was already in the room. It was lightly lit blue, bluish green, and three beings were in there along with me, and I was blue. I was big and tall and blue. I did see a blue being. I saw a blue being. 
I couldn't tell any heights, but <laughs> definitely in the room. So that was really cool. So actually, I saw like, you know, the photos that we see with the blonde hair and really pale and tall in the white, you know, outfit. So I saw that in the room as well, the very first room. And I felt Andromedan energy as well on the ship. So I felt that strongly. I had an awareness of people and they were extracting. Oh, the DNA was really gross. My DNA had stuff hanging off of it. So it got cleansed and purified and activated. And then they were just doing a huge revamping of my mental body, just like a big suction. <laughs> on my brain pulling off all this yuck i also did some i felt myself doing some toning i actually think that came with the next uh area of healing so as we moved into the next area i connected with saint seraphina which was really a surprise oh. because like i wasn't expecting a solitary being to come through at that point because we were calling in seem seemingly a group but that seemed to be the energy that wanted to come through when you said that there was a, a mother a motherly presence immediately mother mary okay. came in for me and um it was very very emotional that's where the arcturians were actually supporting with my root chakra they had this like almost like a patch a flat patch but it had light around it and they had just kind of almost like a sticky pad like you see those defibrillator pads and they just placed that over my lower abdomen and there were two wire attachments on each side of my hips and that and uh one on my uh lower back just a smaller patch that was just a small rounded patch um but same thing a little bit of light on that and then i could feel like an icy clearing through the lower root chakra and lower abdomen so the overall thing that i got was a heart expansion and i feel like everybody's dna got some sort of activation yeah i could and second then, that i agree it's very exciting like we're remembering who we really are it's everything's energy Everything's energy that we experience. All the physical issues are just our body's way of telling us there's something energetically out of whack. And we just have to get to the root of that and do the work around that. And then we can release the energy. It begins to flow again and everything heals. I, I just can't thank you enough, Heather. This is the most beautiful thing I think I've ever experienced in my life, except for maybe the birth of my children. <laughs>